It's the Charles Theater now, but it once housed the famous ballroom and the group that would pack the house on a weekly basis made Charm City the perfect stage for jazz. Count Basie, um, Duke Ellington, Coltrane. They are jazz royalty, and about 48 times a year, they'd hold court in Charm City. Folks knew no matter what, there was a show at the ballroom. The famous ballroom, now the Charles Theater, a down-home, bring-your-own-food-and-drink musical buffet. You got memories from a lot of musicians, and we did this over 40 years, remember? That's a long time to be doing something. And in that time, the Left Bank Jazz Society, with members like John Fowler, put Baltimore on the map in the jazz world. There were musicians who would not come to Baltimore. Baltimore was that country town between New York and D.C. So once we started doing concerts, guys was like, oh man, they got something in Baltimore. And people were like, in Baltimore? <laughs> the one and only, and how about this? Saxophonist Clifford Jordan, he liked it so much, he got married there in between sets. I wouldn't be surprised, that sound just like them, you know. Desiree Collins' cousin Sandy was the bride. And how's this for coincidence? Collins uncovered left bank memorabilia by the pound after buying a home once owned by a left bank co-founder, bearing pictures, posters, and contracts. I, I think it's a wonderful collection of the history of jazz in Baltimore. And, um, you know, I've got a little bit of everything here. A diverse collection, much like the crowd the famous ballroom would attract. Our place was different, partly because the Left Bank Jazz Society had both races. So you couldn't bar people from coming to a concert, and it just never entered the picture. We were about the music. If you loved the music, you wanted to hear the music, you know, come on. He says Baltimore had a keen ear and musicians were obliged to play to it. They say if you got a standing ovation here, you done well and history is still applauding the left bank and the famous ballroom. In Baltimore, Jason Newton, WBAL-TV 11 News.